All right, resolution of force and acceleration down or up an inclined plane. You've really got to draw the picture here and then just go from there. All right, so here's my inclined plane, 30 degree angle, 15 newtons acting up it, and 5G down. Now, we have a normal reaction force right there. All right, um, now, what you really want to do here is break this gravity component up into I and J components making sure that your I and J components are parallel and perpendicular to the inclined plane. Something like that. Now, tilt your head, and that's how you're going to be working, I and J components here. That way, the reaction force is purely in the J component, and the uh, force up the plane is purely in the I component. And all we need to do is break that gravity component up into I and J components. Now, looking at the angles here, this angle here is um, 30 degrees, and we can use that to find out how much that is right there. So if I call this one vector u and this one vector v, vector u is going to be equal to 5g uh, cosine of this angle right here. Uh, now that angle there is uh, 60 degrees. So 5g cos 60. And V, this one here, is going to be equal to 5G uh, sine of that angle right there, sine 60. All right, so this 5G sine 60 is equal to 5 root 3 on 2G newtons. Now, that is this blue line here, which is equal to this reaction force. So we found the reaction force. We found half of this question now. That's that there, 5 root 3 on 2 g newtons. All right, we want to find the acceleration of the particle down the inclined plane. All right, so what do we know? We know that there's 15 newtons of force being exerted in this direction, and we know that there's 5 g cos 60 newtons of force being exerted in that direction. If we add those two together, making sure to understand that this one's negative because it's working down the plane, then we'll get the resultant force acting on this vector, this resultant force right here. Let's figure out what that is. All right, so I let the vector be W. W is going to be equal to 15 newtons up the hill minus 5 on 2G down the hill, and we get negative 9.5 newtons out of that. Now, of course, we don't want to know how much force is acting down this inclined plane. We want to know how much acceleration is happening. So force equals mass times acceleration. We've done this a few times now. Acceleration is equal to force times mass. We know the force acting down the hill. It's negative 9.5. We know the mass of the block is 5 kilograms, and then we're going to be able to find that acceleration. Now, we need to talk about this answer because I don't really love it. Uh, let's look at it again. Our force is negative 9.5 in the I component of newtons, okay, in the I component. So it's moving down the I direction. Now, force is not just a number, it's negative 9.5 I, it's moving down here. So an acceleration of negative 1.9 meters per second squared, we really need to correct this and interpret it. 1.9 meters per second squared, acceleration is equal to 1.9 meters per second squared down the incline. So it looks like a negative acceleration, but it's not a negative acceleration because it's just saying negative 1.9 I meters per second squared, and then we need to interpret that to be actually an acceleration, not a deceleration, because we're moving down that plane. So interpretation is important there. And to aid you with that interpretation, express your vectors in terms of I or J. All right, uh, that was uh, resolution of force and acceleration down or up an inclined plane.